along the way, the Biden administration has been slow in providing military support. Make no mistake about this. We promised them 33 Abrams tanks in January. I heard again two weeks ago in Ukraine, they still don't have them. We've been telling them we'll train their F-16 pilots, but now they're saying maybe January we'll let somebody transfer some jets. I'm sorry, Mr. Vice President, have you, I know you're running for president. You are, distra you. You you are distressed notice. that the Ukrainians don't have enough American tanks. Every city in the United States has become much worse over the past three years. Yeah. Drive around. There's not one city that's gotten better in the United States. Right. And it's visible. Our economy has degraded. The suicide rate has jumped. Public filth and disorder and crime have exponentially increased. Right. And yet... Your concern is that the Ukrainians, a country most people can't find on a map, who've received tens of billions of U.S. tax dollars, don't have enough tanks. Right. I think it's a fair question to ask, like, where's the concern for the United States in that? Well, it's not my concern. <laughs> Tucker, I've heard that routine from you before, but that's not my concern. I'm running for president of the United States because I think this country's in a lot of trouble. They're not trying to sabotage Mike Pence. They're, they're just, you know. They're, they're taking a clip out of context and making it go viral and stuff. But anyway, it is the, the clip uh, where basically Tucker Carlson, you know, he did a, a what is it, like a whole town hall style meeting for all the, the GOP uh, presidential candidates. Political summit. Ah, okay, right, right. Totally different. Not, not even, not even related, man. I, how stupid of me. <laughs> right, but anyway, so they, they do this, uh, this whole thing, I'm, from what I hear, it's it's seven hours. I still haven't watched it yet, but um, I'll probably get around to watching some of it. But there's there's a lot of uh, good clips floating around right now, and one of them is a uh, Mike Pence. He's being interviewed by Tucker Carlson, and Tucker Carlson asks him. He basically gives him the whole rundown of everything going wrong in America right now. How you know our our cities, basically any actual city in America is filled with fucking homeless people it looks like a third world country it looks like an active war zone in most major cities here in america uh we have a major border crisis we have a complete you know attack on uh the the nuclear family we basically every every everything that could possibly be going wrong in america is going wrong in america right now and he basically says you know like what's, what's this whole concern about you know making sure that ukraine's has enough abrams tanks and whatever the fuck they need and all their their armaments and all of our tax dollars and the, the tax the tax papers and all this and that the bullshit I, I, I can kind of side quest but i remember at one point they were even saying that uh some of our tax dollars the, the tax the tax papers are going to make sure that fucking the uh ukrainian pension funds are still fucking you know in in play like we're we're paying these motherfuckers pensions not just fucking sending them ammo and shit but either way and uh basically mike pence's response uh, from where they cut the clip off was that's not my concern <laughs> and so obviously mm -hmm. you know, make makes it seem like you know like well my concern is ukraine or whatever but i recently just found out from from uh, the swine over here that that's actually not necessarily the case right so uh, you want to go ahead and let us know what's going on there yeah, selectively edited, man. You know, I mean, for clicks, obviously, you know, a bright bar, everybody bid on that. And uh, it, he goes on to basically explain, like, my, you know, what, what he's worried about is the United States because he's running as the president of the United States. You know, and, and the way Tucker worded it, you know, you, your, your concern is, is making sure Ukraine. And then he said, that's not my concern. I'm running for the United States. You know what I mean? Like, right. Our economy has degraded. The suicide rate has jumped. Public filth and disorder and crime have exponentially increased. And yet your concern is that the Ukrainians, a country most people can't find on a map, who've received tens of billions of U.S. tax dollars, don't have enough tanks. Right. I think it's a fair question to ask, like, where's the concern for the United States in that? Well, it's not my concern. Tucker, I've heard that routine from you before, but that's not my concern. I'm running for president of the United States because I think this country's in a lot of trouble. I think Joe Biden has weakened America at home and abroad. And as president of the United States, we're going to restore law and order in our cities. We're going to secure our border. We're going to get this economy moving again. And we're going to make sure that we have men and women on our courts at every level that will stand for the right to life and defend all the God-given liberties enshrined in our Constitution. Anybody that says that we can't be the leader of the free world and solve our problems at home has a pretty small view of the greatest nation on earth. We can do both. 
And as President of the United States, we will secure our border, we will support our military, we will revive our economy and stand by our values, and we will also lead the world for freedom under my administration. I promise you. Amen. Vice President Mike Pence, thank you very much. You know, right. so, I mean, they, they really did, and I'm surely not trying to stick up for the guy either. He has absolutely zero chance. I think he's a douche. But one, one of the better clips, um, even as he's supposed to be this huge religious nut, right, can't be in a room alone with a woman without his wife present, yada, yada. Um, he goes, uh, Tucker presses him about ha has he brought up the fact that uh, uh, Zelensky and his admin are, are basically – you know, um, outlawing Orthodox Christianity there, yeah. and um, you know, uh, you know, restricting all, you know, making all these laws against them and yada yada. And um, he says, "Well, I brought it up, and, and I brought it up." And, and this guy from, the, you know, the the Zelensky regime assured me that no one's right. being persecuted. Right. You know what it, I mean? And Tucker's like, "Are you serious right now?" Like, I would have expected a different answer on religious freedom from you as someone that's supposed to be a religious leader here in America, and you are, whether you want to be or not. Right. That, you know that, what I mean? And then he actually got pissed. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, yeah. But the leader of the church at St. Michael's in Kiev told me personally that he he believed that uh, the Zelensky government was respecting religious liberty, and I must tell you, I. Other than the sanctity of life, there's no higher priority in my life than preserving the freedom of religion in America and championing religious liberty around the world. I'm confused. On this question, it's very clear that the Zelensky government has arrested priests for having views they disagree with. That's not consistent with religious liberty. It's an attack on it, and we're funding it. And I'm just wondering how is it, and I don't mean to be disrespectful at all, but I sincerely wonder how a Christian leader could support the arrests of Christians for having different views. Well, what, what, what I can tell you is I asked the Christian leader in Kiev if that was in fact happening, and he assured me that it was not. People were not being persecuted for their religious beliefs. Now, he, he said let me, no let me, let me take arrested? a break here. I know we disagree on this strongly, but I, I respect your right to your opinion on Ukraine, and I trust you'll respect mine. Look, I, look, okay. look I, I've been to Ukraine now twice. My wife and I traveled into Ukraine a month after the initiation of hostilities. We traveled then with a group called Samaritan's Purse, providing Christian relief to the millions of Ukrainians, women and children of every age that had to flee that country in the face of the unprovoked Russian invasion that began a year and a half ago. I did return, took an 11-hour train ride into Kyiv, also again with Samaritan's Purse. We not only met with government leaders, but we met with Christian relief workers. We're literally rebuilding homes of people in small towns, little hamlets, that a year ago were being shelled by Russian tanks. All the people in that community were just sitting in their homes. I mean, the, the truth is, what I saw was not just evidence of war, but I saw evil. And I believe that it is in the interest of the United States of America to continue to give the Ukrainian military the resources that they need to repel the Russian invasion and restore their sovereignty. Would you, may, may I ask, would, would you be, and I, I believe you have a good faith position on this, and we have disagreements on it, but I want to just, I, I can't let you elide over the question of the treatment of Christians. And I, I know, I, I heard and that would again. would you be, well, no, but hold on, would you, you be would The problem you be is willing? you don't accept my answer. I just told you that I asked the religious leader in Kiev if it was happening. You asked me if I raised the issue, and I did. And I'm saying I also raised it incorrect. with the Ukrainians, and I was told that there are, there are religious leaders who have been working with the Russian military that is murdering people by the thousands. Okay. I mean, tr Tucker, look. Uh, Wait, but hold on. Don't you think... Let me explain to you what I think our national interest is there. I would think you would have greater concern for religious liberty in Ukraine. And I'm surprised. I, I by told your you I raised the on. issue of religious liberty. No, you spoke to one person who's clearly I didn't on say one I side of it, person. and I, there are many, many news reports that are not disputed by anybody that right. many clergy have been arrested in Ukraine. And I'm merely saying I may not agree with their views. I'm not Russian Orthodox, but you can't arrest clergy for having different views. Period. Because if you do, you violate the basic tenet of look, religious I, liberty. Look, I won't look. I want to be clear with you. I won't stand by it. I won't stand for it. If people are being persecuted for their religious beliefs, I won't stand for it. 
in any country with which the country of our nation is supporting or our allies are supporting. Yes. Period. Paragraph. But I mean, that, that's basically like, like you know, the, the, you know, uh, asking the cult members, like, oh, well, are you are you in a cult? Are you in danger right now? And of course, they're going to say no. You know, and it's also at the same yeah. time, you know, with with the whole uh, political issue and stuff, it'd be like a a foreign you know interviewer or something, you know, coming over and you know asking an American like, oh, is the Biden White House, uh, you know. Uh, weaponizing the DOJ against their political opponents. Well, I actually heard from the White House press secretary herself that that's actually not what's going on here. So uh, I, I have it on on you know good faith that that's actually not what's going on. That's that's the same fucking argument. You know, it's, it's the same fucking thing. You know. But, yeah. Not not only does this person want to keep their job, but they're literally being paid to spin information. Right. <laughs> like that, that's their sole reason for being. You know what I mean? Right, because if there's one thing that we know about, like, you know, Russia, Ukraine, it doesn't matter. They're both fucking corrupt nations. But if there's one thing that we know about either one of those corrupt nations, it's that if you want somebody that's going to say the right thing to the fucking foreign uh, people or stuff like that, or if you want someone that, if you want a, uh, uh, you know, investigator removed from a case or something like that, they'll do it for you. <laughs> they will definitely fucking make sure that they get the right person in there. You know, they'll make sure that, you know, uh, oh, you, know, you guys don't like what this person's looking into and stuff. Oh, well, we'll make sure that he gets, he, he resigns, you know, or we'll make sure he's fired. You know, I don't have a reason to fire him, but we'll make sure like, that type of stuff goes on all the damn time over there in, in, a, in both of these countries. That's why, you know, like I say, it, it's kind of funny, you know, uh, World War II, fucking, we helped the fucking communists fight off the fucking nazis and then now fucking at the start of world war three it seems that we're helping the fucking nazis fight off the fucking russians again like it's it's i don't know it's a complete fucking flip-flop i don't know fucking crazy Chris, crazy oh. shit we're going on right now <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah but, and, but but back back to the pence thing though what a weird fucking guy dude huh right. Do you see the way like he wasn't even like looking at tucker Mm -hmm. when he's talking like I, I didn't even see him look at him until the end when they gave the handshake and then he made then he made sure to have like a weird prolonged eye contact right <laughs> you know what i mean he's just a weird fucking guy bro yeah. and this was a worse moment than uh the debates in in in, in 2016 when he had the fucking fly on his face you know <laughs> the the entire duration bro yep. <laughs> yeah i mean like like i said you know the dude's polling at fucking one percent probably even less now that you know this clip has been going viral and uh, the dude has no fucking chance uh did you see the fucking uh the razor fist rant about fucking you just put it out a couple hours ago right? dude my favorite part yeah. of that was fucking when he's talking about chris christie he's like the only chance this motherfucker has of getting into the white house is on a fucking forklift like <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yeah he's great man he's on fire every one of his rants dude right. spot on right. hey thanks for checking out this clip from the liberty bowl make sure you guys subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell so you guys know whenever we go live whenever we put out new videos make sure you guys hit that like video uh, that like button if you guys like the views or opinions that you guys heard here and make sure you guys stop by here friday nights 10 o'clock arizona time if you'd like to come by hang out smoke with us chat with us in the comment section and have a good time we appreciate all of you don't forget to like subscribe share this video out fuck off The, tax, the taxpayers 